Hello, Sipac. Welcome to another episode of Dr. Fazone's Kitchen. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make something out of some uh, leftovers uh, that are good to have uh, for breakfast. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so I have some Calavita olive oil as my first ingredient uh, as we go over the ingredients. And now I go to see that salad right there. I made a salad yesterday. In that salad are, let's see, I have leeks, spinach, peppers, mushrooms, and I guess that's about it. Okay. And is there anything else in there? Uh, no. And so what I'm going to do is use those vegetables for some eggs with vegetables in the morning. Nice and healthy. My doctor keeps telling me I have uh, vegetables and tells me I should eat three eggs every morning. Okay. So got an, also got an onion. I got three eggs. So I got my sharp knife. My son just bought me a sharp knife. Uh, he got me that for Father's Day. And uh, so then we have these pastes that I like. Cilantro, lemongrass, ginger, and garlic. Uh, I'm going to make them up in a minute and uh, show you how it works. Oh, and then my, my olive oil is that Spanish olive oil. I, I try that. I like it. Good. I just want to show you, the sharp knife is a happy knife. Remember, to show you how to cut these onions. Remember, if you have uh, a gas stove, just turn that flame on. Is my flame coming on? What's going on here? Ah. Oh, hang on. Got to get that flame. Okay, so I got my flame going. And remember that when we are cutting the onions so we do it this way so we can see and this is a sharp knife is a happy knife so i'm um, cutting it right here and i'm gonna get my arm over the flame and that's not very safe so we come over this side and we cut see how sharp that knife is man that just goes right through so i'm gonna keep watch the fingers though always gonna watch the fingers uh, we open it up and we're going to dice some, uh, dice some of these onions because I'm going to saute some onions the first thing we do uh, for this recipe as well. Uh, everything else is kind of left over except for the eggs and then the uh, vegetables are left over, but this onion will be fresh, nice fresh onion. Again, I got that flame going, so any of these juices, instead of going into my eyes and making me tear, these are... The little pieces of juice are kind of dried up by that flame. And this gives me, with that sharp knife, plenty of onions for my, for my recipe. Cut just a few more. And then we're going to be ready to go uh, with the recipe. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in a second. Okay, so here we go. We're going to throw some olive oil in. This is my nice Spanish olive oil. And then we are going to put in, oh, why do I only see two eggs over here? Oh, here they are, the other one's back here. All right, so. All right. and oh boy, hit the camera. All right, what are you gonna do? All right, and then we're gonna put in the onions we just saute, or just chopped up so we can saute them. And we have diced those. After that, let that go for a little bit and then we'll be right back well actually you know i'm gonna put in here now i'm gonna cook all this stuff here i'm gonna put in a little bit of garlic and i'm gonna put in a little bit of ginger these herbs have been around for a long time and they are very healthy i mean been around uh, historically for a long time. They haven't been around in the kitchen for a long time. I just bought them from the store yesterday. And there is some cilantro paste and last one, a little bit of lemongrass. All right, so I'm going to start sauteing this up, show you what it looks like, and I'm going to throw the vegetables in, then we're going to throw the eggs in, and then I'm going to have my breakfast. Nice and healthy. Okay. Okay, so you can see I have the uh, all those herbs, as well as the onions sauteing. We don't want them to get too, too dark. We're not going to want them to get dark at all. We just want to kind of get them moist. And now I'm going to throw in the vegetables. Spinach. Mushrooms. Peppers. You put a couple little grapefruits in there. See how that turns out. Oh, and the leeks are in there, too. So I'm going to let that cook up for a little bit, and we'll be right back. 
Okay, so now to see how those veggies are cooking up, they're ready for the eggs now. Put three of them in, stir them around. Life is beautiful. One, two, three, and we got the protein in the meal now. The doctor will be happy enough for three eggs, not four. I need all this stuff in the Here we go. Stir it up. Cook it up. Dr. Fazone's kitchen. Healthy today. Healthy. See how that goes. Let that cook for a little bit. Okay, time to transfer it to the plate. So I can do that without knocking the camera over. It's going to be tough. Okay. You're going to have to take my word for it. Here we go. Go into the plate. The doctor like tells me to eat a lot of food when I make this stuff. And I made a lot today. I eat a lot of vegetables and a lot of protein. Get it out back now. Here we are. I'm out of my deck. And there's my breakfast. You can see it. Got the eggs with all those vegetables and herbs and spices. Uh, I got my coffee. I uh, got my little Schweppes and no sugar in that. That's just uh, Schweppes orange sparkling salsa water. And I ran out of napkins, so hey, here we go. Look at that, paper towels, all ready to go. Uh, my tomato plants are coming up, but I don't see any tomatoes yet, so I have my tomatoes in the store. Whatever, the plants are looking good. I don't see any tomatoes. All right, have a good week of work and uh, enjoy uh, yourself uh, with teaching and learning. And uh, we will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.